Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at the brand new update to the Folio Builder panel inside of InDesign CS5 and CS55. That's right, you can do more right in the Builder panel. As a matter of fact, you can do just about everything now in the Builder panel and publish wirelessly right to, your, right to the Adobe Cloud and then off to your tablet device. So let's take a look at how it works. So I'm here in InDesign CS55, and like I said, the update's available for CS5 and CS55. Just head to the Adobe website to download the update. Once you have the update installed, you'll go up to your window menu, come down to extensions, and then you'll see the Folio Builder panel. Um, once you bring it up, it will ask you to sign in using your Adobe ID. I've already done that, so it's signing me in automatically. And because I do have a provisioned account, I can create multiple folios. However, if you're doing this for free, you only have access to be able to create one free folio, and that's, of course, fine. Um, for most people that are just doing testing or want to create their own uh, personal portfolios or projects that they just want to show off on their iPad or other tablets. So what I've got here is, again, the existing uh, folios that I've already built. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck the panel over here and dock it for a second here. We'll pull that back out in just a moment. And now let's talk about the process for building your folio and then looking at it on your iPad, Android, or BlackBerry um, playbook. So I've got, uh, I've got my InDesign document here. And once again, uh, the, the way it works is if you want to publish and have the person be able to turn the tablet and look at your publication in both orientations for digital publishing. I'm not talking ebooks. Ebooks is a totally separate topic. This is the digital publishing suite. For this, you will need to be you will need to create both the portrait and landscape orientations. If you only want the person to be able to look at one orientation, then that's the only orientation you need to create. However, if you say, well, I want it all wide, but I want one page to be tall and, and wide, nope, doesn't work that way. You have to create all tall and wide at that point. So it's either all one or all the other or all both. <laughs> you, you, you can't mix it. So it can be all portrait, all landscape, or portrait and landscape for every page. So with that in mind, I've got a portrait version of the cover and a separate InDesign file. This is not just another page. This is a separate total file uh, that is the landscape version. Now, with both versions of the file, what I'm going to do is go to the Folio Builder. And again, yours will be blank, most likely. I'm just going to go ahead and say create a new folio. What it will ask me is uh, the name of the folio. So I'm going to call this CS Podcast Folio just so we know which one it is. And uh, again, it's going to pretty much have the right defaults. There's not really much I need to do. Again, you're going to build your document 1024 by 768 or 768 by 1024 for the tall version. And we'll click OK. And it assumes when you do that that you want to um, then, of course, start loading folios. Now, at this point, we're in the CS Podcast folio. We're in the articles area of the folio. So the next thing it wants to do is to create that first article. So your InDesign documents at this point are the articles. So the cover is an article. If you, your next page is an ad, that's an article. If the next thing is your table of contents and that's two pages, that's an article. If your next thing is an article and it's four pages, that's an article. So all these separate InDesign files. I'm gonna go ahead and create or click new. And it will ask me the name of the article. I'm just going to call it cover. Click OK. And now what it's doing is it's automatically uploading that portrait version of the file I had up to the Adobe Cloud. So this is, again, how it works wirelessly from you publishing from InDesign to your tablet. OK, so now the cover is there. Uh, but it's only the vertical one. I'm going to drill down into it, just click on it, and it shows me there is my portrait version. Now again, if all I want is portrait, I just keep uploading all the portrait articles. But since this one does have a horizontal component, I'm going to switch over to the horizontal document and just say new. 
I'm already drilled into it. It knows that I'm adding this layout to the cover article. And once again, it's uploading. And this uploading, by the way, is going to be dependent on the speed of your connection, size of your files, how many pages, how many movies you've included, so forth and so on. So whatever you built, that's how long it's gonna to take to upload, and of course, based on the speed of your connection. So now I've got the cover done. So in other words, the cover is uploaded, and so far, so good. You could have done everything I've done so far in the old Folio Builder. Now what's new is, well, let's do one more thing and then I'll talk about what's new. I'm gonna go ahead and show the import, although once I show it, I'm not gonna waste your time waiting for it to upload, because this is a bigger one. I'll switch out and then show you the new features in a folio that's already uploaded. So let's say we want to upload the next article, and the next article is not open. Like I had the cover open. The next one's just on a hard drive, the horizontal and vertical layouts, but they're just InDesign files sitting in a folder. So what I'll do is I'll click the import command from the flyout menu. When I do the import command, it wants to know if I'm importing a single article or multiple articles. In this case, it's just a single article, and it's going to be going to be called Two Wheels Good. Now, the difference is, since it's not open, it wants to know where is it? Where is it on my hard drive? So I tap or click Location, and we're going to go out here to find it. There's the Two Wheels Good. Now, all I'm doing at this point is pointing to the folder that it's in. And notice it shows me the InDesign file that's horizontal, the InDesign file that's vertical, and notice they have the underscore V and the underscore H. That's important when you're importing articles. If the articles were open, InDesign would be able to figure that out for you, but since they're not open, it needs to know which one's which. And also, one more thing to point out is that there is a uh, .png or ping file, these are little graphics, the little thumbnails that people will see when they look at your index on your publication on your tablet, the pictures representing those pages. So you can take screenshots, you can build those in Photoshop, you can build them any way you want, but those two little pictures are helpful to have. Okay, so now that I've got that in place, I just click open, and if I were to click OK, it would begin the upload process. And that's what we don't want to wait for because those are two big articles with movies and all kinds of things in them that would take a while to upload. So I'm going to cancel out of it. I'm going to switch all the way back. And I'm going to go to one that I've already built that's got that two wheels good uploaded already. So same thing, I've already uploaded it in this folio. Now, here's what's new in the new builder panel. Before, in order to get things in order, you'd have to upload them in order. So the cover would go first, then the next, the next article, the next article, the next article, in the order that you want them to be viewed in, in your publication. If you forgot something and wanted to, like you got all the way to Article 30 and you wanted to put something at, at Article 2, you'd have to pretty much delete all those articles and re-import them to get it done. Now. With the new update to the Builder Panel, you can drag and drop to reorder your articles right in the panel. So you don't have to delete and start over. You can just get them in any order you want. So here, let's put that back up. There we go. And so that's huge. That's a new thing and doesn't require you to log into a website or anything to do that. Great. The next thing is that I can now also delete. I can delete. Uh, not only the articles, here we can select that. I can delete the articles, but I can also go back, if we go back one, and delete the actual folios themselves. So everything can be deleted basically right from the panel. If you want to delete a particular article, want to delete a folio, you've got deletion capabilities. Last but not least, so let's say I get, uh, and I'll show this on the iPad, but before we get there, let's say that I've got, uh, I've got, a folio built, I looked at it on the iPad, and now I want to share it with others. Well, you know what, let's go look at it on the iPad first. So I've got that folio there, the Adobe uh, TV folio builder. Let's switch over to my camera. And my camera here is showing the iPad. And we can, uh, let's take a look at that full screen. 
So we've got the iPad here, and in the upper right-hand corner is the Adobe Viewer, the Adobe Content Viewer, which is available for Apple's iPad, uh, any Android tablet, as well as the BlackBerry Playbook. So if you're on a Motorola Zoom or Android or a um, Samsung Galaxy Tab, whatever Android tablet you're running, you should be able to get the Content Viewer. Now, one important thing. You want to make sure you're on Content Viewer 1.8 or higher. If you watch this video and 1.9 is out, then obviously you want 1.9. But 1.8 is the one that works with all of this that we're talking about. And 1.8 is now available across all three platforms. So grab 1.8 for your tablet, and then what you're going to do is launch it. And if you're launching it for the first time, it will also ask you to sign in. Since I've already signed in, let's go ahead and go out to the index here. And there, oh, it's showing me that there's now an update. But, and that's the one I uploaded earlier, by the way. But here is the uh, Adobe TV folio that it's showing me here. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on to view it. And it's telling me there's an updated version. Do I want to download an update? I'm just going to say no because I just want to look at the one we've already uh, that I already know is good. So I rearranged the order, so that's why it's telling me there's an update. So let's uh, let's tap hit here and let's go back to the cover. So there's our cover. And again, uh, whether you're looking at this horizontally or vertically, you're going to see both orientations of the publication. Great. That's the first article. We swipe. And then, here, let's go all the way to the beginning. And there's the Two Wheels Good folio that I imported uh, that was already on the hard drive. And again, it's both horizontal and landscape. So that's the big deal, is that you can now change the orientation, do your deletions, do your sharing, and everything directly from the panel. Now, speaking of sharing, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I head back over to the computer here. We'll escape out. So I've looked at it on my iPad. Now I want others to look at it in their free Adobe Content Viewer. So all I'd have to do is with the, pat with the folio selected, go to Share. This will bring up a dialog box that I can key in, paste in, whatever, all my email addresses that I want to email this out to. Give it a subject, give it a message, maybe even a link to where, go, where they can go to their app store and download the free viewer if they don't already have it. And all they do is sign in with that email address and they would see it in their content viewer. So from start to finish, InDesign, doing everything in the new Folio Builder panel, out to the tablets, they grab their free Adobe Content Viewer, you grab your free Adobe Content Viewer, and you're looking at it all wirelessly from InDesign to a tablet device with no extra work, no extra logging in, websiting, provisioning, or any of that. Now, if you want to sell your publication, that's where the digital publishing suite comes in and there are pricing plans for that. But if you just want to play for free, if you just want to get something on your iPad or your Android or Playbook for free, this is the way to do it. So, hope that helps. Hope that ends some of the confusion. And again, this is not EPUBs, not eBooks. This is something totally different. We'll talk about EPUBs at a, at a later time. So with that, thanks again for watching the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White. Catch you next time.